In this particular lecture, let's learn one of the most simplest ways of actually conditionally rendering something inside a given component in React. So in order to conditionally render elements, we have used these particular element variables, but there's actually one more simpler way to do that as well. And that is by making use of a ternary operator in JavaScript. So if you're not familiar with what exactly a ternary operator in JavaScript is, let's go ahead and let's take an example. So over here, I'll open up JS Fiddle where we could write some JavaScript code. And let's say we have a Boolean variable. So I'll create a Boolean variable here called as is happy. And let's assume the value of this thing is true for now. And depending upon a certain condition, let's say you want to display a specific message. So I would say let message and the message should say something like, uh, let's say I'm happy. However, this message should depend upon the above condition, which is, is happy. So if a person is happy, then it should have some different message. And if the person is not happy, then they should have some different message. So in order to do this, we could make use of the ternary operator in this way. So here you have to say is happy, which is your Boolean variable. And then you use a ternary operator, which is this question mark. So after this question mark, what you do is, you define the value which needs to be set for this message whenever is happy is true. So you say that is happy, if that's the case, in that particular case, I want to set this message's value to this right here, which is I am happy. And then after that, what you do is you have a colon here and after this colon, you specify the value of the message to be set if this is happy is not true. So if the is happy is not true, then I want to say I am not happy. So this question mark right here is our ternary operator in JavaScript. And what it does is that it actually checks if this is true. So if this is true, then it will execute this code. That means in this case, it will actually set the message value to I am happy or else it's going to execute the code which is written after the colon right here. So if is happy is false, then it will actually set the value of this thing as the message. So if you want to check this, you could console log this. So let's console.log the message. And now if I save this, and if I run this, and if I open up the console right here, you'll be able to see that it says I am happy. Now, let me set the value of is happy to false. So in that case, as the value of is happy is false, it will actually set I am not happy as the value of message. So as soon as I save this, it actually changed to I am not happy. So this is how this ternary operator works in JavaScript. So now let's go ahead and let's actually use that ternary operator over here so as to simplify uh, this code right here. So if you take a look at the code right now, the code looks quite messy as we have these two statements. We also have this extra variable over here as well. So let's first go ahead and let's get rid of this variable right here, which is message. And over here, instead of saying this is message one and this is message two, you could simply go ahead and remove everything from here. And instead, you could now go ahead and check display. So you could say display and right away have a question mark. And if the display is set to true, then I want to display message one. So over here, I would say message one. And if that's not the case, then colon, I want to set message two. So let me change this to H1 and let's say message two. All right, so I simply have to save this. And also as we want to return this, so I'll go ahead, get rid of these quotations here. And instead of returning this message, I would now say return this. All right. So now you'll be able to see how compact and precise our code looks like using the ternary operator. So now let me run the server. And now if I open this thing up, as you can see, it says a message to write up over here. And that's because this is set to false. If I set it back to true, now it actually goes ahead and sets message one. Now the same ternary operator could be used with components as well. So here we have components like code and welcome. So let's say you want to conditionally render them inside this conditional component. So rather than having here JSX, let's now use those components. So let's say if the display value is set to true, I want to render the welcome component. 
or else I want to render the code component. So here I would say code. All right. So if I save this, if I go back here, it says you're welcome. And if I change the value of this to false, it says code every day. So in this case, we have conditionally rendered components and we have used only one return statement and we have not even used element variables. Still, we are able to conditionally render different kind of JSX and different components just by making use of the simple ternary operator. So this ternary operator in JavaScript actually makes writing components much cleaner as you could simply go ahead and use that. And this operator is also widely used whenever you have to go ahead and perform a check while looping through certain elements. So in the next lecture, we are going to learn exactly that. That is, if you take a look at our fruits list right here, let's say if you want to render some fruits and you don't want to render some fruits depending upon certain condition. So we could do that with the help of the ternary operator, which we have just learned. So let's learn how exactly we could do that in the next one.